is up here somewhere. Uh, you can install a root actions uh, service menu. Okay. And so if you needed to perform something, let's say you're looking in your Etsy folder or directory and maybe mm -hmm. you need to modify FS tab or something, right. you can then go in there here and just uh, right click on that and um, open or whatever it is, it'll prompt you then to provide the credentials, yeah, and then you can get right into that one. Cool. I thought I had that installed, but I, I know for sure I have it installed on my system at home. Uh, what I wanted to show you here is an example of the PDF tools. You can see here that you have got quite a few um, options available here as far as um, what you can do with these PDFs. Now, I only have one highlighted, but if I uh, were to highlight the other one, I could go ahead and merge both of those files into a single file. Um, I, as I said, I already tested that. Um, another thing, too, is that, yeah. if, yes? When you do that, do you lose the originals, or do you no. wind up with three files? I wind up with three files. Okay. The merged uh, file and the two originals. Okay. Uh, another thing, too, is that uh, if you have ever used uh, KDIF, which is, I think, a file comparison tool, um, and you've got it installed, you're going to have, a, you're going to have an entry for it right down here in uh, Dolphin uh, on the right click context menu. So um, that's kind of nice. You can then uh, make use of it. Um, so you have to add this file, or is this this panel for each one of the uh, like we clicked on the PDF? Did you have to add all the entries or the actual? No, they all. Well, if you install that, I think it's KDE Services. Um, it will all install. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, um, I have it. Uh, what's under security tools? Uh, what's that? What's under security tools? Oh, let me let's go back and take a look. Paranoid Shredder. Okay, I'll do that after the presentation. Um, oh, I was going to mention something too about, uh, oh yeah, the, um, <coughs> let me just click on this. These, uh, this is, I go ahead and set as one of my places the, uh, uh, the folder where all the KDE service menus are located, so you can see there they all are. And again, depending on the kind of file that you are clicking on, you're going you're gonna to see the corresponding uh, actions that you can take, and you can set the you can set up your own custom ones if that is something you're interested in doing. Because all you need is a text editor um, and doing a little bit of research. Um, you don't have that. No programming language is, is required. Um, you could probably set up a script, you know, Bash script map that you could just simply it could go out and place the stuff in the various folders that type of thing. Um, but you can certainly certainly do it manually. So all right. Um, Let's see here, it's uh, 22. Um, we're going to move on now to uh, KDE Connect. I'm kind of excited about this because uh, this is very cool. Uh, I, I apologize here because when I move my mouse over here, it kind of, it, it doesn't go the way it's because my, my system's backwards. Anyway, um, okay, so let's go ahead and put up KDE Connect. And, and you can change uh, which which monitor it takes us on the left or right or above? Mm -hmm. um, uh, I, I know I, I probably could. I didn't have time to, though. No, um, hang on just a sec. There we go. All right, KDE Connect. This is a project that aims to, uh, to communicate, as I took directly from the site, to communicate all of your devices. So I think you kind of get the gist of it. It, uh, it allows you, uh, essentially, to take your phone and I can control my uh, laptop from my phone. Um, my laptop also will uh, receive my KDE, uh, or excuse me, my uh, notifications that I get on my Android phone. If, uh, if something gets updated, if a call comes in, that type of thing. Right. Uh, almost that, let's, uh, I wanna make sure that, uh, and also, the other thing that you can do too is you can, uh, hang on, I gotta get back to where I was here. At the show. Yep, you can, uh, yeah, so let me just hang on a second here. I'm going to uh, go ahead and send a ping. Hopefully there's a password there. Oops. I didn't try it. I'm sure there is. I'm going to exit this uh, slide. This slideshow is going to All right, let's just see here. Um, guys, I apologize. I'm having a small technical glitch. Somebody turn off my phone. <laughs> oh, I got it, I got it. I think I got it. Whoops. All right. There we go. It's done. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is, um, 
Oh, you know what it is? You can drag that window over. No, it's the main desktop. Can I switch it? You can just drag that window over to this desktop. Is it a window or is it? It's the main desktop here. Um, it's the main desktop. It's my it's my main desktop. Uh, you can set it to. Yeah, I'm going to go into. Right, so you can mirror the display instead of. Yeah, I think that's, that's what I'm going to try to do here. Uh, use my display. display. Yeah. Oh, here it is. Where's my other remote? Alt, like Alt F2 display. Also from that. Right. Um, Should be able to just drag. Yeah, yeah just put the one on the other side of the other one. Like this. Or she wants to tap of each other. Or and now. Tap of each other. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> Shit. Take them off. Now click the, click the middle tab on the other one. That one right there. Click that. All right. So now go ahead and apply. What version are you Hey, there we are. Okay, what we're version, cooking now. What version are you running there? Uh, this is Kaboom 21410. Yeah. I want KDE oh, version. Oh, what KDE version? Um, 1412 or 13, I think. Okay. All right, so uh, what, what I'm doing right, right now, I've got on my desktop, you can see here, I've been getting all these notifications. You can see my battery, and again, this is my Samsung Galaxy 3. My battery right now is just charging at 57%. Uh, you can see here that I've got all of these, uh, I've got a ton of notifications. And by the way, you can control, um, you can control what you see. Hang on just a second here. So is that display settings like a Bluetooth specific? Uh, these no, 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 that's that's in KDE system. Yeah, this is... Um, yeah, okay, because I'm pulling up on my system, I'm still seeing, like, the motor. Um, just type of it. There we go. Under oh. Or maybe it was... <coughs> okay. Oh, here it is. All right. Now, what, what we're looking at right here is um, somebody else's Samsung Galaxy. <laughs> Don't set a pairing request. Um, but anyway, but for this to work, you've got to have the KDE Connect application installed on your phone, uh, which is available in the Google Play Store. Unfortunately, it's not yet available for the iPhone, but I understand it's coming, so I suspect probably before the end of the year. Sorry, yeah, sure. Those iPhone jerks don't need it. I, well, I'm not going to say But anyway, so anybody who's using the iPhone, I'm sure it's coming. Um, probably an Android as well. Yeah, yeah, Android, yes. Yeah, well, exactly. I mean, in the store. This is Android. Yeah, it's Android available on Android, Android right now. Application for yes. those who don't like Play Store. Oh, okay. Um, oh, yes. Uh, yeah, you could probably get it somewhere. I'm sure that actually. But anyway, um, what I what I did is I right clicked to open up to see what exactly I got set up for this, and you can see here I have um, all of these different things set up. It's going to monitor my battery. I've got the clipboard so I can automatically change files between my phone and my clipboard. Um, I can I can make sure my screen uh, I don't have this activated so the screen's here the window if I let it be. I've got it set up as a multimedia control receiver. So let's say for example, uh, is yours? Are you looking at yours right now? Or? There. No, I just set a ping just to make sure I'm connected, and you can see that I am connected. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up the remote control, and um, you can see on my phone here I've got the uh, the various uh, controls that you would use to play audio. So um, I also have here, um, I'm not sure if you can really see it, but I just used my drop down. I have two audio players. I've got Amarok and I've got Juke. And right now I'm going to go ahead and just select uh, Amarok. And should, is it starting? should be, uh, yeah. no, let me make sure my music is set up. Okay, so I was doing it earlier. Yeah. Um, you, you, I have to make sure that Amarok is set up. Maybe it doesn't need to be just playing it. Maybe it's not playing. Yeah, it is. Maybe right. your sound is down. Oh, that could be no, I, too. I think it disconnected. Oh, hang on a minute. Uh, let me go back to remote control though. Um, you think so? Because it went from green to black. Oh, yep. Yeah. Hang on a second. Um, okay, there. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and just open up the touch pad control. Because what I'm doing right now, you see how that cursor is moving? I'm moving that off on my phone. And two, uh, two finger tap will, will uh, basically be a click. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open up the browser with my phone and I'm going to go over to uh, Firefox. And, uh, oops. 
Are you seeing this on the phone as well? There we go. No, I, I'm just basically, uh, oh, okay. I'm just, I'm just using my phone. Your screen. I mean, love yeah. this because as everything's Bluetooth now, and my laptop doesn't have Bluetooth. So I'm going to play with it so much. Now, what I'm doing, one thing, too, if, if you're using Kubuntu and you're going to install this, do not install it from the Kubuntu repositories at the PPA because uh, the keyboard did not work until I added the PPA to my repository set, refreshed it, and then installed it. So um, what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to go ahead and uh, CNN.com. And you can see, uh, <coughs> yeah, it was a pretty bad uh, earthquake in Nepal uh, yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, you can see that I'm completely doing all of this from my uh, from my phone with KDE Connect. Um, I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, I imagine that would be really interesting with Plasma Media Center. I, I've never played with Plasma Media Center, but that's just immediately. Yeah, it, it, you know that's a great idea. I have not even had a chance to really play much with Plasma Media Center either. Plasma Media Center will run on the uh, Raspberry Pi. That would be, mm -hmm. that, that'd be interesting. With, like we've got, um, that we have like Raspi MC running, driving our projector at home. Yeah, so um, I'm going to go ahead and just see if I can get this playing. Um, but anyway, you can, uh, you do have the ability to, uh, and I was doing it at home and everything, just controlling, start the song, stop the song advance to the next song right off your phone. And again, that's KDE Connect. Uh, we're kind of going on 10-2, so I, I basically showed you what I wanted to show you today. Um, we took a look at the landscape, the various ways that you can configure KDE, or excuse me, Dolphin to suit your, uh, your preferences. We took a look at service main, uh, menus and how to get those installed to give you a lot of capability with just a simple right click of your mouse on a file or folder. Uh, we then followed that up with uh, KDE Connect and how you can really control your desktop from your phone. But you'll, you'll get, if your phone is ringing, you're going to get a, and, and maybe your phone's downstairs, you got to be on the same net, wireless network, of course. But if your phone is downstairs and you have to turn to work and then suddenly you get a pop-up and maybe you don't hear your phone, you'll get that pop-up on your phone. Did you get the pop-up? I'm actually almost surprised that it works on the hotel oh. I expected to have like client isolation set up. But apparently they don't. <laughs>